fluid debris levels and the fish net appearance are two different ultrasound findings that can be associated with hemorrhagic ovarian cysts first we describe the fluid debris levels seen in hemorrhagic hemorrhagic ovarian cysts this cyst shows the fluid debris level in a hemorrhagic cyst which refers to the layering of different materials within the cyst typically there is a separation of the more ecogenic or brighter debris towards the bottom of the cyst and the less ecogenic darker fluid above it the ecogenic debris refers to the presence of a clot like material within the cyst the separation occurs due to the settling of blood components within the cyst with the denser cellular debris settling at the dependent portion of the cyst due to gravity as a result you can see a distinct line or interface within the cyst where the fluid and the debris meet so what is the significance detecting a fluid debris level can be a distinct feature of a hemorrhagic cyst and can aid in its diagnosis when using ultrasound imaging color doppler or power doppler ultrasound in this case show no evidence of internal vascularity and presence of a rim of vessels surrounding the hemorrhagic ovarian cyst a few fine fibrinous strands are also seen within the fluid component of the cyst this patient was advised conservative management and the symptoms were resolved with the passage of time next we come to the fish net appearance in hemorrhagic ovarian cysts the appearance of a fish net also known as a reticular or lace like pattern is a term used to describe the internal structure of some types of hemorrhagic ovarian cysts the fish net or reticular appearance is characterized by a fine mesh like or lacy pattern of septations internal walls within the cyst These septations may have a crisscross or a irregular pattern resembling the appearance of a fish net or lace. The fish net appearance can be seen in certain hemorrhagic cysts and can help differentiate them from other types of ovarian masses. It is one of the features that radiologists use when uh, studying hemorrhagic ovarian cysts. The management of hemorrhagic ovarian cysts can vary depending on the patient's symptoms, the size of the cyst, and the overall clinical picture small asymptomatic cysts typically less than 5 cm are treated conservatively with management of pain and other symptoms follow up ultrasound is advised in almost all cases hormonal tablets may be used in certain cases larger cysts more than 5 cm may be treated surgically